हेलो गाइज माई सेल्फ तन्मय त्रिपाठी आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी फॉरेंसिक साइंस फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट टिकमेन टेस्ट टिकमेन इज ए माइक्रो क्रिस्टल कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट फॉर ब्लड यूज बाई फॉरेंसिक एक्सपर्ट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल हेमिन और हेमेटीन टेस्ट इट्स पॉजिटिव टेस्ट इज इंडिकेटेड बाई फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रॉम्बिक ब्राउन क्रिस्टल ऑन द रिएक्शन ऑफ हेम विथ सॉल्ट एंड ग्लाइशियल एसिटिक एसिड टेस्ट वॉज फर्स्ट डेवलप बाई लुद्विक करोड़ टिकमेन A police anatomist in 1853 he documented this micro crystal in his paper of 1853 and named them hematins but later this crystal called as tickman crystals we will talk about test principles the tickman test is based on the reaction between hemoglobin and pyridine which produce a hemoglobin crystals this crystal has a characteristic appearance and used to confirm a presence of blood we will talk about the results hemochromogen crystal confirm the presence of blood now we will talk about forensic applications of this test first one is confirming the presence of blood in a crime scene the second one is analyzing a blood stain pattern and the third one is forensic serology now we will talk about reagents for tickman test there are two major reagents for this test first one is glycyl acetic acid and second one is nacl crystals in preparation Take a small amount of NaCl crystal and add few drop of glycyl acetic acid and mix well. Now I will show you step by step procedure and a result of this test. For this experiment we need two reagents. First is sodium chloride and second one is glycyl acetic acid. Here we have taken a blood sample and we have dried it for at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes. After drying it we have to scratch it and we have to make it as a powdery form. and we have to collect it to the center after collecting the sample to the center we will put some amount of nsr in it with the help of a spatula after putting nsr in it we will put glycyl acetic acid After putting glycyl acetic acid, we will heat for two to three seconds on a lamp or lighter. We have to heat it until the bubbles pop out. As you can see, the bubbles has pop out. Now we will observe it under the microscope. And when we will observe a sample in the microscope, we will observe the crystals of hemoglobin or hemocrystal. Thanks for watching video.